we're seeing more now, I think. It's not quite so underground and back streets. In the bars that we used to go in when we were kids, you know, you used to have to knock the door and they'd let you in. There's, we, I used to work behind the bar at the Silver Web. And that was proper, like, CD backstreet club. You used to have to knock the door and somebody would open the door and they'd glare at you to see if they could tell you a guy. <laughs> and uh, then we had the Lord Raglan, which again had a side door, so you used to have to go and knock the door and be let in. It's not as open as it is now. And the bars weren't on the main road like they are now. But also, we also had that thing where we were kind of safe and people weren't staring in through the windows at us and we had that kind of element that we didn't feel that we were on show. So there's good and bad things in change, I think. And now you can't tell, years ago, I mean, they talk about gaydar and the people have got gaydar. Years ago, you could tell who was gay and who wasn't. You know, we had a certain sense of dress or... No, we have no idea. <laughs> You'd be staring at somebody and they'd punch you. <laughs> no, not really. But I think, that, I think the whole gay thing is more mainstream now. I think people don't mind looking. They, they wear the same sort of fashions that gay people are wearing and all the rest of it, whereas years ago... If you're a little bit flamboyant, you were obviously gay. <laughs>